Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm back with another segment of who is dot dot and today's person on the list we have is Dr. Henry Thompson Sampson Jr. If any of y'all do not know about him, he is the reason we are able to use our cell phones, okay? So I'm going to tell you a little bit about him. Dr. Henry Thompson Sampson Jr. was born in Jackson, Mississippi in 1934. He was an American inventor known as known for creating the gamma cell a device with the main goal of generating auxiliary power from the shielding of a neck of a nuclear reactor. Henry J Thompson Sampson Jr. graduated from Linear High School in Jackson, Mississippi in 1951. He then attended Morehouse College in Atlanta. Morehouse, stand up! Before transferring to Purdue University in Indiana, where he became a member of the Omega Psi Phi fraternity. He received a bachelor's degree in chemical engineering from Purdue University in 1956. He graduated with a MS degree in engineering from the University of California, Los Angeles in 1961. Samson also received an MS in nuclear engineering from the Uni University of Illinois' Urbana campaign in 1965 and his PhD in 1967. He was the first African American to earn a PhD in nuclear engineering in the United States. <laughs> oh, oh, he was making it. He was doing what he had to do. He was a member of the United States Navy from 1962 to until 1964. That's when my mama was born. Okay. Samson was employed was employed as a research chemical engineer at the Naval Air Weapons Station China Lake US Naval Weapons Weapons Center China Lake California in the area of high energy and soy propellants in the case bonding materials for socket rocket motors Samson also served as a director of, of missions development and operations of the space test program at the Aerospace Corporation in El Segundo California Okay, so he was doing it, and his okay his patents included included a binder system for propellants and explosives, and a case bonding system for a case composite propellant. Both inventions are related to socket to solid rocket motors. On July 6, nineteen seventy one, he was awarded a patent with George H. Milley for a gamma electric cell, a device that produces a high voltage from radiation sources, primarily gamma radiation, with proposed goals of generating auxiliary power from the shielding of a nuclear reactor. Additionally, the patent cites the cell's function as a detector with self power and construction cause advantages over previous detectors. In addition to his career as an inventor, Samson was a noted film historian. He wrote the books Black and Black and White, a source book from on black films which examines often overlooked African American filmmakers from the half of 20th century. In addition, he authored The Ghost Walks, a chronological history of blacks and show business from 1865 to 1910. Samson produced documentary films on African American filmmakers in 2005. He published Singing on the Ether, Eat the Waves, a chronological history of African Americans and radio and television program. And he did two volumes of that. In 2011, Samson donated his considerable collection of historical film memorabilia to Jackson State University. The collection is housed in the T.H. Sampson Library, named for his father. Aw, T.H. Sampson Sr., 
formerly executive dean of Jackson State University. Wow, that is truly impressive. Oh my gosh, so he was doing it up. Okay, from 1964 to 1967, he was the recipient of the United States Atomic Energy Commission Award for Ex Excellent Service at the U.S. Naval Weapons Center. In 1982, he was awarded the Black Image Award for the Aerospace Corporation. He was awarded the Blacks in Engineering Applied Science Award and Prize for Education by the Los Angeles Council of Black Professional Engineers in 1983. Samson was associated with the boards of directors of, Louise, of Los Angeles Southwest College Foundation and was a technical consultant to the Historical Black Colleges and Universities program. Aww. And last but not least, sad to say, Henry Thompson Sampson Jr. died February 20th, 2020 in Stockholm, California. Wow. I know this one was pretty short, but that's what I've gotten from all of this. I am truly honored and thankful for him because without him, I wouldn't be able, we all wouldn't be able to use our cell phones as we do now. Like I'm using it right now to record this video. That is truly impressive and sad to say that he died like three days ago. Wow. May God rest your soul. I'm so thankful for you, for your hard work and persistence on developing the shielding of a nuclear reactor so we be able to use our cell phones to this day. Thank you forever. Grateful for you. So guys, if y'all enjoyed this segment of Who Is Dot Dot, Dr. Henry Thompson Sampson Jr., Please give this video a like. If you didn't, please give it a big thumbs down. The choice is yours. Comment down below any more y'all would like to see from me since we're so slowly dwindling down on the Black History Month. So, guys, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell. That way you'll be notified when I post. And until next time, we are out of here. Peace.